Hi, worried about exams, preparations, and thinking about it excessively? No. Well, what you have to do is to practice and look at sums at all angles. The more you prepare, the better you will be. And one of the sums that's a favorite topic is financial transaction. This world is about money, money, money. Uh, not so funny, all right? Okay, they say, you know, when you have money, guys, the, the girls will come around you like you are honey. <laughs> so be careful, all right? So don't go and flaunt your wealth. Just say, I've got no money. And you find true love. But right now, focus on your studies. All these are to be out. <laughs> all right, financial transaction. And how do we go about it? Now, that's to do with cost price, selling price, discount, commission, uh, higher purchase, monthly installments, simple interest, compound interest. All these make up financial transaction exchange rate. And they are really vital sums. And what we do is I like you to practice. Do practice one, which is a little bit easier. And then move on once you've got the confidence. And then you go to practice two. Now, I would like to say that practice one is also essential to build up the strength in your maths. Let's look at this sum, this Peter the car dealer. Looks like he's a second-hand car dealer. He bought a second-hand car for $36,000 and sold it for $48,000 and calculate his profit percentage. Do you think you like to be a car dealer? One car, you buy $36,000 you sell at 48,000. Oh, wow. But all you need to do is learn to talk. Besides knowing financial transaction, skills in talking is really important. So please do that at a sideline. Let's look at this now. 36,000 is the cost price to him. And the selling price is 48,000. So what is profit equal to? The profit is always equal to selling price minus your cost price and if i want profit percent what is profit percent well you always put it as find the profit over the cost price the basic the initial sum that you paid the original times 100 percent that's your profit percent now, what is, how about loss? Loss will be equal to, well, I put red, oh, oh. loss, who's more? Selling price or cost price? Cost price is more. So you get cost price minus the selling price. It's still over the cost price times your 100%. So that's your loss. What fraction of the money if you look at this, the fraction of the cost price. The selling price is 36, 48,000. You sold it for 36,000. Sorry, sorry. You bought it for 36,000. You sold it for 48,000. Ooh, wow. Profit that you made. Ha ha, look at that. You made a good, clean 12,000. What fraction is it? 12,000? out of 36,000. Look at the fraction, times 100%. So the profit that's made is 12,000, and it's 12,000 over 36,000. Cancel the zeros off, very simple, times 100%. Now you know your 12 times table, 12 times three is 36. So book, book, get one, three, 100 divided by 3 will be 100 divided by 3. You know it is 33 and one third percent. That's what you get. Those of you who are not very sure how you divide. Oh my God, I don't want to go that low, but I have to. 100 divided by 3, a caterpillar division. You get a 3 here is a 9. The remainder is a 1. 10 divided by 3 is a 3. Remainder is a 1. When you put remainder as a 1, it means 1 out of 3. So that's your profit percent. Great. Okay? 
morsel the sum of money that you made, 12,000 from one car. Hello friends, want to be a car dealer? Think about it. But let's move on to the next sum. Get your financial transactions right. Know your money, how to manage your money. Let's look at this sum. Pang Fei, right? Pang Fei, spend $20 each week for eight weeks and he spent $25 for the next eight weeks. Calculate the average amount Pang Fei spent per week over the 16 weeks. You will find the total amount spent divided by 16. Okay, let's look. From here, we move on here. But let's do this one first. Or if you want to carry on, I'll read here. If at the start of the 16 weeks, he had six hundred dollars stuck. What fraction Frank Fei is left with is left with at the start of the seventeenth week. Express the above as a percentage. Express what's spent to what's left at the seventeenth week as a ratio. Now let's do it step by step. Well, Frank Fei, he spent twenty dollars. For each week. Now, how much did he spend there? He spent $260. So look at that. 20 times 8. This is spent for the first 8 weeks. For the next 8 weeks, he spent $25. 25 times 8. This is the total amount spent for over 16 weeks. And we want to find the average. So you divide by 16. Now my dear, 20 times 8 is very easy. Don't fool back on your calculator. What's 2 times 8? 16 and you put a 0. What's 25 times 8? What in 100, how many 25s are there? Look at 100, this is half 25. The next 25, there are 2 25s and 50. 2 25s and 50. In 100, there are four 25s. Four 25s make 100. Eight 25s make 200. All right? So you've got 200 there. And add them up and divide by 16. You have 360 divided by 16. And that's the amount spent. All right? Average amount spent. Let's divide by four. You get 9, 0, here is 90, 90 and here is 4. Divide again, you get 25 over, oh sorry, divide, we get 45 over 2. And that gives us 2, 2, $22.50. Therefore, the average amount per week, per week is, is $22.50. Fifty cents. That answers question part A. Now, if we had six hundred dollars, my dear friends, six hundred dollars, Bang Fei, what fraction is left at the start of the seventeenth week? Now, if you look at this sum, part A, he spent one hundred sixty in the first eight weeks, and another two hundred in the next eight weeks. He has spent. Hey, what is it? Three hundred and sixty dollars. Pang Fei, you spent three hundred and sixty. So what are you left with? Pang Fei is left with. He spent three hundred sixty dollars. I mean, I put PF. You know who is PF? Pang Fei spent three hundred and sixty dollars. All right, over sixteen weeks, and so now he is left with. He's left with, he's left with 600, take away 360. Remember 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600. Take away 300, all right? Each finger is 100 and you chop off a 60, you're left with 200 and what is left here is 40. So you're left with $240. Now they want you to express it as a fraction, okay? With the is what fraction of Pang Fei is, is he left with at the start of the 17th week? 
you're left with 240 out of $600. So the answer is, all right, what's the answer? Please tell me. 240 over 600. Yep. Cancel. Divide. You get 24 over 60. You can divide by 212. Never mind, I divide by 2, I get 12 over 30. And actually, I could have divide, div divided by 12 so fast. You get 2 fifths. Divide by 12, you get 2. Divide by 12, you get 5. But never mind, we divide by 2. All right, you can divide by 6 again. You get 2. And that's your answer. It's left with 2 fifths of the start amount. Now, express it as a percentage. This is part one. Express it as a percentage. Is that really a problem? When you want to express it as a percentage, you see the relationship between percentage and the fraction. This one whole, five over five, is one whole. Two fifth is a fraction. And that's if you will express it as a percentage, what does it become? Two fifth times hundred percent. All right? And that will be part two, two fifth times hundred percent will be equal to you can divide here hundred divided by five twenty twenty times two is forty percent forty percent of his money is left pang fei now express the next part of it what's spent to what's left all right they want it as a ratio. What's spent is 200 and we've added up 200 plus 160. What's spent is 360 to what's left is 240. Right? What is left is 240. You want to express it as a ratio. Reduce it. You can cancel the 10 off. Divide it by 12. You get 3 is to 2. So you spent 3 units left with two units all right so it's left with like spend 60 percent left with 40 percent right you see the sum it's really easy but as we move along my dear friends we will find the level of difficulty coming in hang on we'll come to the next two sums soon